two major ways in which these fish achieve that defense. The toxic fishes have poisons in their flesh, so that if a group or a shark would eat them, they will spit them out of me. Gaudy turkey fishes or lion fishes that you see have poisonous spines that, like hypodermic needles, inject a very painful venom. You see the way that turkey fish is expanding its fins, it's displaying, it's trying to tell us something. It's trying to tell us that it's a very venomous fish. In fact, it's the second most venomous fish in the world. Only a stonefish. <laughs> the world's weekly wait is over. Like magic, an invisible chain of sound once more circles the planet. The radio R is ready again to go the globe with audio collage. Audio collage. Audio collage. Audio collage. Basically, what this meant was that I had to stay at 10 feet for an hour. I like your background, Mickey. 10 feet with my hand beginning <laughs> right, to feel the... intense pain and then throbbing and then I should probably the put in screenshots too and see how, we, how far we can go into the back. <laughs> Very fractal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Tascam Mini Studio no, Personal. It's closest living relative is the albatross, the huge oceanic bird with a 10-foot wingspan, probably the greatest soaring bird on Earth. Knowing 
but that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people, knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people, knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people, knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people, knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people. Up. And my the people we the people are waking up. And my the people we the people are waking And my the people we the people waking up. And my the people we the people are waking up. And my the people we the people are waking up. And my the people we the people are waking up. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And we know what citizens arrest. Because citizens arrest are already happening. 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 Already but they're animals that have plants within their tissues, and they live on the sunlight that penetrates the clear, warm water on a tropical equatorial coral reef. Here in foggy San Francisco, we have to assist Mother Nature with a bank of floodlights. Now, as we approach the coral reefs, you can see the menacing black tip reef sharks. As the sharks circle, the other fishes hide and find protection in the coral. And as the sharks swim away, the reef fishes come out and feed. Look carefully at the anemones on top of the rock platform. The sea anemones contain small orange, black, and white fishes called anemone fishes or clown fishes. They too have a symbiotic partnership wherein the anemones allow the fish to nestle within their stinging tentacles in exchange for the protection that the anemone fishes provide them. They'll come out and bite any fish that tries to feed upon the anemone's paws. As we leave the shark display and move to our left, we see the lagoon side of the coral reef. Two tanks are connected and you can see that the small fish can swim back and forth through the windows in the coral, but they only do it when the sharks are the ground. Inside you can see their rich living tissue of the coral reef. Little polyps of the coral come in a variety of colors, that's what makes it coral reef so beautiful. The white coral that we're accustomed to is really the dead skeletons the calcium carbonate left in the
Let's turn around and go over to the other side of the bleachers where we can have a seat and look at the dolphins and harbor seals. These are pelagic animals. They live in the open ocean. The seals come to the shoreline at night, but they feed in the open ocean, and the dolphins spend their entire life in the open ocean. They're very graceful animals, but they're not fish, you know. They're mammals. They run bloody. They give milk to their young. The two largest animals are Pacific white-sided dolphins. Now, some people get confused about the names. Dolphin and porpoise. There are more than 70 different kinds of dolphins and porpoises in the world. But for our purposes, we'll know that the ones with a sharp nose are the dolphins, flat nose are the porpoises. Our two dolphins are Thetis and Amphitrite. You can recognize Thetis because she was bitten by a shark. There's a large bite. They spend a lot of time talking to each other, but we can't hear it. The high frequency of their voice is beyond human hearing. Sound technicians have made it possible for us to hear Thetis and Amphitrite talking to each other. Let's listen. <laughs> What are they saying? No one knows for sure. In their adaptation to life on the sea, dolphins and whales have developed some very special abilities, including their ability to echolocate. Like the submarine that uses sonar, dolphins and whales are capable of creating very high-pitched sounds that are reflected off of other objects in the water around them. So that by echolocating, they can swim in the dark, they can swim on the cloudy Thank <laughs> you. 
Saka, 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 Somebody to wear a mask mandates somebody to wear a mask to wear a mask mandates somebody to wear a mask mandates somebody to wear a
You should now be standing at the entrance to the dark display tank. Your guide for the rest of our tour will be my good friend, Dr. John McCosker, the director of the Standard Report. Now, a few steps into the dark corridor. Turn the corner to your right. A deep breath and prepare to enter Orim's underwater world. My name's John McCosky. I'm the director of the Steinhardt Aquarium here at the California Academy of Sciences. Together, we will explore the aquatic plant and animal life collected from all over this water planet of ours. We spend some time looking into the first tanks on the right-hand side of this corridor, tanks number one through three. You can see the numbers on the legends printed above each tank. On some of the tanks, right next to the tank number is a silhouette of someone wearing a headset like ours. That symbol indicates we'll be stopping to learn more about the display. Sometimes one of the tanks on our tour will be empty because we're cleaning the tank or changing its contents. If that happens, just be patient and pick up the tour when you hear the next direction. Schau mir gut in die Augen, ganz tief hinein in die Augen, schau mich an, schau mich an, schau mich an, hier bin ich, klar und deutlich für dich, nur für dich. noch gut. Schau mich an, hier bin ich für dich. Schau mir in die Augen. Tief, klar und rein. Schau mir in meine braune Augen. Ganz tief und klar und schön. Oh, wie schön kannst du mich ansehen heute. So schön war ich nie vorher zu sehen. Oh, wie schön. Oh, wie schön. Oh, wie schön. 
Turn. Schau mal. Der Pierre ist hier. Der Michael ist hier. Der Michael ist hier auch. Schau doch mal. Nächste Seite. Gerne hätte ich dir ein Geschenk mitgebracht. Einen schönen Apfel aus meinem Garten. Ist gepflückt. Wäre doch schön. Wäre das schön. Gerne hätte ich das getan für dich. Mr. Waterman is helping now. Hey, Mickey, hey, Mickey, hey, Mickey.
truly amazing. The results are truly amazing. are truly amazing. The results are truly amazing.
can hear you. We're just ignoring you. It's metaphor. <laughs> porta, 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 porta. Porta, you have an unending capacity for counterfeit astonishment. <laughs> porta, there's a message for you. Porta, porta. Porta, 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 porta. porta. We're ignoring you. Porta, porta. We're ignoring you. Now that we finish Ladies Carcano, our when we get <laughs> Manly Sugar Carcano radio hour. I'm going to have a nap. I'm going to go lie down and have a nap. <laughs> Thank you. 